Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at ScienceDaily.com. They're talking about a press release from the University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA. Researchers there have found a way to split hydrogen out of water using the sun as well as create a supercapacitor at the same time using a third electrode. So this is the device pictured here. And if you're in a rural remote area, odds are you need some fuel to either power your vehicles or to stay warm. You're also going to need a little electricity to power your devices. This little invention here takes solar energy, converts it to electricity using the electrolytic fluid in the electrolysis um, mixture as a supercapacitor sort of battery. And it also takes water and splits it into hydrogen and oxygen. You can use that hydrogen for fuel cells or to burn for warmth or electrical generation for further electricity if needed. Of course this is the prototype phase, it's just the beginning, it could be a long way until it's actually market ready, but most hydrogen right now is produced using natural gas, converting natural gas into hydrogen, a very energy intensive process. So if we can find a way to use the sun to create hy hydrogen, that would be great. And the catalyst that they use in this is nickel, iron, and cobalt based. So it's not using platinum or palladium like a lot of the other expensive catalysts. So this could go a long way towards making it easier to produce green renewable energy. Of course, I will link to this article in the description. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.